Oh, shalom, Rastafari. Greetings again. This is Ras Iadinos, Ras Iadonis, Wendem Yadin. Again, and this is an update, an update from the previous uh, Rastafari Man Wanted. And we give thanks and praise for all of the positive, rutical, true faith based responses of the brothers and even I think some of the sisters also as well to assist um, the daughters of Ethiopia, the children of Ethiopia and I and I courageous brethren on location in the in the California, the, the kibbutz, the, the farm, that beta, we call it like a beta site, a beta project and you know bait means house. So it's to set up a a camp, a area where I and I brothers and sisters can can live, you understand that true common unity or community, even as a a a first step, especially in that region in California. Some regions don't have that opportunity, you know, different cities, different terrain is different. But we as Rastafari ultimately are to be agriculturists and many have use their own resources willingly and, and in faith to acquire different things for not just themselves, but for all of I and I, Yovas, and that, that's the real mark, you know, that's the real mark of his way. He says to faith add virtue, you know what I'm saying, begonet, good doing, Yovas, and um, that's the first thing I wanted to say is that we've gotten word, we did get word, um, I think it was later yesterday, first first light, and um, some of the immediate uh, difficulties through the spirit of the King of Kings, Abba, in the name of I and I, Big Brother Yeshua HaMoshiach, Jesus Christos, were able to be, you know, the waters were able to be calmed. You know, there's still stormy, you know, there's still clouds overhead. However, those that difficulty was able to be overcome, but still there is that need for um, mind power, for those resources. And I was looking through a couple of different kind of um, speeches of His Imperial Majesty, such as the ones where under special education, it's in this particular document and book, some of you all probably know it, um, selected speeches of His Imperial Majesty, where His Imperial Majesty um, is speaking to the soldiers. And that kind of reminded me about uh, the Ethiopia Psalm, the Covenant Psalm, Psalm 68, where it says, Princes shall come out of Egypt. Ethiopia shall stretch forth her hand to God. And under further scrutiny, you recognize those princes are Mequanent, Bamarinya in them heart, they're called Mequanent. A singular um, one from among the Mequanent are called um, Mekonen, or what ones would pronounce from a Western um, orientation or disorientation as Makanen, but actually it's Mekonen. And that's a, we can call it a, a soldier, but it's, it's, it's more like a judge, it's more like a prince. Um, somewhat similar to what we have in the book of Judges. And we're living in such a time where there's no king, at least to most of ones who are blind to the reality of Rastafari, there's no king in Israel, or there appears to be no king in Israel. So, as in the book of Judges, every man or people are doing what they please. But that time came to an end. You understand? And this particular interregnum that we are in also must come to an end. And bringing it to an end is accomplished through our identity and our faith-based, in other words, getting back to the root of, of the covenant, the Al-Kidan, Al-Word-Kidan agreement. So in keeping I and I word, so I wanted to give you, first of all, an update. Without getting into many of the details here, but those who have responded, we're going to try to take the next day or so to, to um, contact each one and also prepare, preposition certain communications so that those within that particular area or those who want to be on that particular unit, the California unit within the society, can be able to directly communicate 
um, with each other and also with the uh, brethren, with the uh, with the prince, the Ras, who was there with the daughters and the and the youths, when some of the the tenants, you know, the land basically is I and I land, but there were other tenants on this particular land, and like we said, some of the details will be discussed with those who who are trustworthy and and have shown their faith based worthiness to respond. So that's that's the thing I wanted to say right here that things have. Have, have calmed down right now through our prayers and through their standing up to the situation. Now, before we go forward, right, um, His Majesty says this right here. He says, um, on the self-help, the people themselves must come to realize their own difficulties in the development of their community. I and I common unity, or some would say common unity, if you please, and try to solve them by collective participation, following an order of priority and taking their potentiality into account. Remember when the book of Numbers, you, those who've been studying finance, the book of Numbers and Numbers, numbering, computation, accounting, accountability, response ability so we give thanks to all those who have shown a positive and a faith-based response and thereby even showing I and I that responsibility yet let's listen to the words of the King of Kings and, and his teaching that guide I and I that the people themselves must come to realize their own difficulties what are our difficulties both individually personally as well as collectively in the development of their community. How will we develop our Rastafari community, this 21st century community? Yes, we can look at the 20th century, the previous so-called century, but we're in this particular century right now, and, and His Imperial Majesty in the ultimate um, challenge. You might recall that speech where he says, we are we to turn to for answers to questions that have never been asked before. And he shows us that order of priority. You understand? Um, turning to the Almighty God, recognizing whose image we are created, that we have intelligence and reason, and then go into the depth of our own soul to make sure that, that this is anchored and rooted within us. So in order to solve our problems by collective participation, following an order of priority and taking their potentiality into account. So there must be an accountability as well, and also the order of priority, um, as well as the assumption of hierarchy and a command and control structure. We would notice that all these things are very, very necessary. You understand, to I and I, if we are truly to be sovereign, if we are truly to re-enter into the so-called family of nations coming out of this Egypt. That's why it says that princes shall come out. You understand? Princes. And we have Ras Teferi, that title, Ras. Well, actually, the title and name. The title is Ras, and the name is Teferi. So it's that title and name that we must take into account. It is well known to you, His Majesty continues his utterance, it's well known to you all that recognizing one's problems and striving hard to challenge them, very interesting, some say problems, some say, I don't like saying problems, I prefer to say challenges, His Majesty explains it to us, it is well known to you all that recognizing one's problems and striving hard to challenge them, so first we have to recognize what is our problem, or what are the problems that we are having, and how can we strive hard to challenge them is a mark, right, a mark of an attempt at self-sufficiency. So this particular kibbutz project, a Rastafari kibbutz project or farm um, project, agriculturalist project in, in, in the California um, region, as with other projects that are ongoing and hopefully when the 
um, participating in fellowship, brothers and sisters who are on the tip of the spear with those things allows us the opportunity to share that. And so ones can link with that. We'll, we'll let ones, the community here through the Illnet, Ethiopian World Net channel and other, other fellowship sites and, and postings. We'll let you all know of that. But so it's self-sufficiency that's the key, that we don't have to be deep and dent. You understand? Know deep and dent. You, you understand on on Babylon or on our so-called emancipators or whatever like that, because we have now returned into our divine heritage. Now is the time for I and I, as we continue to grow, to show and to prove. So self-help in the benefits to be acquired through education. Self-help in the benefits to be acquired through education. So education, we all got to learn. You understand? And learning is, when learning becomes sweet to your soul, then you can really say, yes, I am born again, especially learning of, of, of the kingdom of Jah, you understand, and his righteousness, and then how to actualize this. And I, and I was, was very, very pleased, you know, with the response and, and the responses that came through, you understand, especially seeing that we are on this so-called coast, and that's over on that coast, and ones and ones who were able to, even some had responded right after the video posted. We saw some direct responses to it, and we made the statement that we need to get more information about what was going on, and we was able to do that, and now the next thing in the order of priority is to post this particular message right here, to let ones know that hallelujah, all praise and all thanks and praise be to the King of Kings in the name of Jesus Christos, that, that all is well, yet there is still that, that need. And now to coordinate those who have responded and to, to thank ones more directly, you understand, as well as to coordinate them with others and then to get the, the order of the McQuanant or the princess who can now work with that community, hopefully, and other communities as well, because there's other communities that are under, we could say, under fire or the heathen, you understand, are, are persecuting them because we, many Rastas, and, and much has gone on that has given a bad name to Rastafari. We can't do too much about what has already happened, but what happens from now on should be I and I responsibility. So as Matthew says this, self-help. Self-help, self-sufficiency, in the benefits to be acquired through education will save the individual from asking someone's assistance. So there's some areas that we can also learn how to help I and I self, even with the resources that are out there, and even to show these resources to, to others, even to post some of the videos at some of your Facebook or other you know, channels or outlets, especially if you feel that this has been instructive to you and you want to share this with others, or to create your own videos as well. But the main thing right here is that all... You know, all is well on this, um, let me say, western, western, westernmost front, um, and that's speaking of in the California area. However, there is still the need for more coordinated manpower and resources, you understand, for this particular community. And um, those who have responded, I would say give I and I, give, give I and I a couple of days to personally thank you to personally also update probably through look for your email. You probably will find an email and hopefully those who left phone numbers, we will try to either call conference. We, we, we had a conference earlier reasoning about this. How can we now work with the resources, link them with the community, so forth and so on. I think a call conferencing is in order and we're going to have to begin to delegate certain responsibilities. So um, this doesn't mean we're all up to the, the task. You know, but with faith, courage, and a just cause, I and I will overcome. And there's much more, as you already know, in the teachings of His Majesty. But that word right there immediately, immediately came to us as something that we should share in context with this particular situation. And to the community as well, the Beta site, and other communities, because there's other communities outside of 
outside of these states here and also around the world and even in Africa. There's some brothers and sisters as well in Africa that we also are seeking to communicate with. And the basic thing is to show one the resources by actually studying and showing ourselves approved in the Word. You understand these examples, these divine heritage examples, and then also now to work with those who are in compliance with His will, because these are truly our brothers and sisters. So we can trust those who trust Jah enough to learn about His way and His will and to align themselves, conform themselves to Yeshua HaMoshiach, to Jesus Christos, to the son of Abba Tachin. Now, here Abba Tachin says, Kedemawi Haile Selase says on the land policy, I think this is also very important since it's an agricultural um, community. There's other communities like society houses which may be in, in certain cities. They don't have land. It's a whole different sort of structure. So each of those have to be taken in, 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 in accordance with its particular um, location, region. So it requires a little bit of study. It requires um, due diligence on our part. Here His Majesty says, for those of you who possess the land and labor but lack capital, in other words, lack money or other sort of credit or other sort of resources, we have made credit available at low interest. For those of you who have the necessary finance but do not possess land to work on, we have in accordance with our proclamation, which entitles every Ethiopian to ownership of land, established offices in every province through which you may be able to acquire land. Those who have neither land nor money will be granted land and financial loans at low interest. Lastly, his Majesty says, for those, for those of you who possess land, who have financial resources and manpower. So you see those two things? There's a call for manpower because of the safety of the daughters of Ethiopia. Actually, um, I didn't know how many sisters, sisters were on hand. I think it was about three sisters and seven children and one brother in who basically, you could say he was, as I, I, I even, you know, in, in, in good in good humor and good honorable humor and faith, I said, but this is serious. If we were issuing medals, you know, it's a medal for bravery. We have to encourage good behavior. As one particular brethren who I politically disagree with in the Federation has said, he said that, um, 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 what was it, Sweden's labor, um, um, uh, uh, what was the statement again? Um, not honor, but it was uh, um, like congratulations or, you know, telling somebody give thanks to, to encourage their labor. I forgot how he actually said it. But, you know, we can criticize a lot. We can criticize each other often. You know what I mean? You know, we, we some we may be even overcritical to a degree. You know, and that's not necessarily bad. But what's really bad is if we don't say that was good work. And, and encouragement, encouragement, that's the word. Encouragement, Sweden's labor. So I was saying not just to him, but also the sisters. The sisters were lioness-hearted as well in that particular situation. I think even the youths were like little cubs too. So um, John gave our brothers and sisters, you know, the, the faith and, and the courage and, and, and the just cause, the righteous cause in Christ to overcome that. But we should not tempt Jah when we recognize that we need to work together and secure ourselves. You know, we, we should not always rely on so-called, not say miracles, but, um, you know, we should tie up or seal the gates and then have faith in Jah. You know what I mean? Not keep the gates wide open and allow certain things to happen and then say, oh, John, help me out. You know, if we didn't do all that we could do, you know, the heavens and heavens are his, but what happens on earth is for the sons of men. So it says, for those of you who possess land and who have financial resources and manpower, we have made experts available to furnish you with the necessary guidance and advice in your various undertakings. 
you know, the beautiful thing about Rastafari um, and his majesty, he's calling I and I people from all different sort of occupations and tasks, and they have various type of skills, and often ones might write and say, well, I do this, or I'm, I'm, I have an expertise in this or that, can that be used? If, if that particular um, talent or, or, or craft or whatever is, can do good, then of course, in I and I Father's house, it can be um, utilized right there. So what do we learn from what is matched to, to the right there? That, that it's not only the, it's getting the land. We're landless people. So even if we have a piece of land or ones have a portion of land that they have the, the legal right and authority to, and they say, well, this is open up for I and I's Rastafari, or in particular for the Lion and Jew Society, because this is church. This is churchical. You understand a lot of the problems we're having governmentally within working out the Ethiopian World Federation or Federation, I still maintain that's because we have to first build that faith base first. It's like having a government. Like, look at this government, any government. The structure is there. You understand? But, but that morality, the Bible, God has been taken out of it. So that structure is not bettering the lives of the people but individuals and groups are using that for their selfish purposes, you know. And this brings us back to, you know, if we speak about the federations, not to turn people off to what the federation is, because the federation is our government, you understand? It just so happened that we should pray for those individuals who are claiming to be president or international executive, this and that, and the various different individuals are claiming the same thing, that they will work that out. But we as the grassroots, you know what I'm saying, we have to study and show ourselves approved, you know, so we can hold those who claim to be our leaders or leadership or in elected roles, we should be able, we as the black people, to elect them, you know what I'm saying, we as the black people. Otherwise, it, 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 tramples on our human rights and it says that we should support them and yet they do not give us an opportunity to have a seat at the table. You know, because we we can't deal with that. But that still is a faith based thing. Ones are too busy looking at the state, federation, easy a government, and not recognizing that the best type of government is not just the structure, but it's the individuals. What quality of 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 persons, and not saying that they are good to you or we're judging them by appearances or by our personal relationship. We must judge by Jah's righteous standard, by the same standard that he has laid down for all of us. So therefore, the church precedes the state. The faith precedes. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. You see, so that kingdom there is like the federation is to us. But that righteousness is, 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 is Christ. You know, are we really walking in that divine heritage? Because if we are, if we are, you know, then these problems or challenges, we can meet them, we can overcome them. And I and I hope and prayer is still there, and I, I have to not look at the appearance of things. I have to keep the faith base there, but also speak out when things are wrong. You know, so... This right here is a, is a developmental project, you know, this right here is a developmental project. Um, as dealing with the land, um, there, there is the credit, too, that we are seeking to utilize, and that is our churchical. Use the fact that that line of Judah is churchical, and those who have reached out to us for branches or to establish branches in certain areas, we are still looking forward to reason and dialogue with you about that matter. And so the federation, the Ethiopian World Federation, you know, it belongs to all of us. It's our commonwealth. You know, but before many of us truly will be worthy for governmental activity, we have to first check ourselves with John. And there must be that church. The church, Rastafari is that churchical aspect. And this is why the teachings in society keep focusing so much on the teachings of his majesty and the testimony of his Christ. That needs to be continually reminded to us. You understand? Because the opposition, you know, the world is continually reminding us of, of its worldly principles. And occasionally, 
ones and ones who mean well, even in the Federation, are adapting or adopting principles, you know what I'm saying, or techniques even that have nothing to do with our divine heritage, are not faith-based, are, are in spiritual contradiction, you know what I'm saying, to our heritage, our ancient culture. That's why those things are still the first and foremost. So we as Line of Judah and the churchical activity, we know that we have a, 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 a not just a valid, it's not just a legitimate, it, it's a holy and a, and a, and a, and a just and purpose, you understand, to disseminate that ancient Ethiopian culture, our divine heritage, you understand, to let ones know what does John say, how is this prophecy, you understand, for us, and what is our responsibility in that process. Now, as you'll know, and I could probably go on um, with that, I see one other thing I want to share with you. I see one other thing here I want to share with you, if you, if you will, will bid me this. Um, community Development. This is a small book here. Maybe you might have seen this, um, The Wisdom of John. You know, it's kind of a dated old book, the favorite picture of His Majesty right there, right? Um, I think this, this book is by, uh, this is from 19, I think 92. I had this book from 1992. Which brother or brethren put this together? I, I think maybe they they just, oh, okay, special mention. I think their brother Blake, Bob Blake, brother Clive Brooks, brother Yvonne Brooks, um, brother Shirley, I mean sister, excuse me, sister Shirley Burke um, put this particular book together. It's a collection. Of, it was compiled by United Africa, compiled by United Africa. And here on the community development, common unity, because what unites us? What truly unites us? It's, it's, it's our divine heritage. It's our faith. You understand? It's this covenant that truly unites us. Community development, the fundamental purpose of a community development movement is to teach the rural, the rural people of our empire that through cooperative, cooperative, like co-laborer, cooperative self-help and a united approach to common problems, the vast potential of their own self-improvement, which they themselves represent, can be translated into effective programs which can do much to improve their standard of living. So this, this is seeking to improve I and I standard of living. But where do we get such a standard from? What's, what's the highest? It's our divine heritage. It's that covenant. It's knowing who we are. It's knowing about the history. It's knowing about the prophecy and even the mystery. So, so the challenges or problems in this time are, 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 are not, you know, are not, not even real compared to the realness of God's word and our faith and willingness to act on that faith. Last, not the last word, I'm not going to say that because I might go on and say something else. You know, saying if the Holy Spirit inspired me too, but this is why I'm going to say more. Social development. He said, lasting progress can only be built on deep and enduring foundations. Lasting. Not some, it's here today, it's gone tomorrow, something like No, lasting progress can only be built on deep and enduring foundations. When a solid foundation is laid, if the mason is able and his materials good, a strong house can be built. So what's the true, what's our true foundations, my brothers and sisters? I think this is going to be a little bit longer than I originally anticipated because you know, the Holy Spirit is, is, is saying this is an opportunity. Use this opportunity to teach in season, out of season. Although I might want to teach this in another kind of, um, you know, a setting or with a, another kind of a, a, a lecture. Um, what it says, if the foundations be destroyed, you know that psalm there? It says, if the foundations be destroyed, right, what can the righteous do? What is our foundation? What is our found? We used to have a web page out there, our foundations, but it was a it was a wiki. It was it was a what's that what's that site? YouTube and um, Yahoo groups. It was one of those kind of free pages, and 
now it's out in Asia somewhere, so you might not be able to find it too easily. We're going to bring it forward again. But what's our foundation? The Bible says that Jesus Christus is our foundation. Well, what, what, what does Haile Selassie, our Godfather and King of Kings, say our foundation is? He says it's the Bible. He says it's Jesus Christus. So who should we listen to individually and collectively? Who should set that standard? According to the teachings of His Majesty, it's the Bible and the testimony of Jesus Christus. That's the instruction of our Father. You see how, I'm not going to say easy that is, but how live and direct that is? How it was very simple that even a little baby or even us as little children growing up, you understand, can know that. So when a solid foundation is laid, you see, so that foundation is already there. You understand? If the mason be able, his majesty said this, so let's not get all twisted. If the mason, there's building to be done. Who do you think builds? You know what I'm saying? Unless someone that has these skills. We're talking about operative mason. If the mason be able or is able and his material's good, you understand? Who is the grand architect? It is the king of kings. It is our godfather, right? If the mason is able and his material's good, you see, but he's building not just a, a temple, but he's building a, a corporate a corporate church, you know what I mean? And we as Rastafari are that corporate church. That's why when it talks about the church, it's not talking about just the building. You know what I'm saying? It's talking about the faithful fulfillment, you know what I'm saying, of that way of life that we know in and through the new name as Rastafari. A strong house can be built. And then a couple of other just one-liners, so to speak, to develop oneself, which is the key. One has to develop one's own initiative and perseverance. You get that? The King of Kings, our Father, Kedus Abad and Abba Kedus is saying to develop oneself. To develop oneself, one has to develop one's own initiative. Initiative. People say, about, oh, initiation. Well, you need some initiative. You need, you need to start out. You've got to begin. You never, you know, the thousand-mile journey, my earthly used to tell me, it begins with a single step. So you have to begin some. If you don't have no initiative, you're not going to start that single step. You see, but to develop oneself, one has to develop one's own initiative and perseverance. You know, we'll we call it endurance, or as Rastafari would we'll say, firmness or, or fortitude. Right? A man has to strive in order to grow. Has to strive. That's, that's, a, that's, that's a, good, a, a good reminder of the King of Kings. And he says to us, let us work out our own programs in all fields. In all fields. Political. Then we just speak about the Federation. We say that it's, 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 it's more political if you really understand. But we all have a seat at the table. Don't let nobody fool you with a lot of, you know, some of the, 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 the talk that's going on right now. Yes, it's a little difficult. There's ones who are, have taken the initiative to, you know, be the president or act the role as the, this and that and next thing. Maybe it'll work out. Maybe it won't work out. But I think w what they need is I and I prayer, those who have put themselves out there. Because we know that some of the things that they're doing, they didn't really – pray about it and consult with the king of kings before they set out to do it. You know what I'm saying? If they did, then, you know, things would be much better. And they will get better. So let's keep the, you know, let's keep the whole pray and work. Let us work out our own programs in all fields, political, economic, social, and military. It's interesting that he broke that down in a fourfold way. Political, economic, social, as society and military, man's contribution, which contributions, which life or which lives, me, which live to influence the life and progress of posterity. That's talking about the next generations, whether they are our personal children or they're just children of Rastafari. That's our posterity. Are the most permanent the most permanent monuments that can ever be created. And this one here, we must become increasingly self-critical. 
and this is one reason why they pushed I and I, in a sense, out of the Federation, because we were not just criticizing ourselves, we do, but we was criticizing what are we doing in, in, in this? Are we really looking at the teaching of his majesty? You know, we're getting caught up in a lot of other things. Are we looking for his example in our divine heritage? But we must become increasingly self-critical, increasingly willing to analyze our efforts, you know, and some folks, because of a weak, being weak in faith, you know what I mean? If you, if you crit, critique what they're doing too much, you'll be asking yourself, is this one really Rastafari? I mean, what, 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 where we go to that? I mean, one time, one particular brethren was like, me a bad boy from Jamaica. And I was like, whoa, ease up on that. I mean, I was like, yeah, but you're in Brooklyn, and I used to run these streets. I know this area. I mean, you know, but it was kind of interesting that we would kind of go to those sort of levels, you know what I mean? And, and it was because of being critical, analyzing what we're doing as Rastafari and saying, listen, the movement is not really moving as it should be moving. Oh, you're just a young man and this and, oh, yes, I am, but is the movement moving? Well, you, you know, we can go through that another time, but let's stick to the King of Kings and this works it out much better. We must become increasingly self-critical increasingly willing to analyze our efforts, to experiment, to admit our failures as we take pride in our successes. And the reason why I decided to, in this thank you and response and update, touch on His Majesty's teaching and spend a little bit of time, you know, in, in reasoning is that we as Rastafari need to remember groundation. Groundation to me was church. It was like fellowship. You know, we'll come together for our Bibles, and, you know, if we're meeting at that brethren's house, we'll bring maybe some food or water or, or you know, the fruits or something to, to where we're going to have the meeting, some herb or whatever. You know, we'll come in, we'll have a prayer, maybe a chalice, or maybe ones will burn their spliff or, you know, and reason about things and have pen and paper. I mean, where did that go? I don't know where it went, but it's coming forward again. You understand? And it must come forward again. So, lastly, you know, in this particular um, update, you know, we, you know, we give thanks. Um, oh, we give thanks, of course. But look at this right here. See, that's how it is when you... <laughs> You know, when, when, when you're studying His Majesty's words, you're like, oh, wow, this looks very interesting. Military planning for the security of this continent must be undertaken in common within a collective framework. So that, that, that kind of links directly with um, the Psalm 6831, which I referred to, where it said, Princes of Mequan and shall come out of Egypt, Ethiopia. Um, she'll stretch forth her hands um, to God. It's almost like if you read the, the statement Balmarinya or in the Goodness or even the Ibrahist, the Hebrew, it seems to say that the, the princes are a collective male are going to come out of Egypt. That means they're going to spearhead the way or or, organize. You understand? In other words, we're going to carry this title of Ras or higher title, and we're going to be able to act on that. There will be a sense of, you know, a sense of, of order and balance. You know what I mean? For example, we talk about the elders. Well, yes, we should honor our true elders, but we also have to recognize that level of command and control as well. And this is not getting into any worldly stuff. Cha is our guide right here. So when he says military planning, you understand, for the security of this continent, must be undertaken in common within the collective framework. Okay, we know he's speaking about chiefly Africa, but those of us in the diaspora, remember self-sufficiency, we got to work these things, you know, out for I and I self. So once again, I want just to give thanks to His Majesty and His Christ, as well as to you all, and say that look forward to either it will be a phone call, an email, or perhaps an announcement concerning a, 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 um, a phone a call conferencing among those parties that, you know, that have responded. I got the documentation, the printout, it's a couple of pages worth, and some other questions also have been, um, 
you know, have been presented um, as well. So, um, if each and every one endeavors to cooperate and work as in as much as his capacity permits, our faith rests upon the Almighty God that he would bless the results for us. And they all say, Amen and Amen, and we'll update you with more, and stay tuned once again. So, Shalom, Ras Teferi. And any contacts or communication, www.loj Society, hit the contact. If you haven't been responding to as yet, please do not give up. The labor, you know, the harvest is, is ready, but the labors are few. But we give thanks. Our prayers are being answered. More labors are being sent into the vineyard. So, Shalom Rastafari again. <laughs>